see the same bitches early. Can't wait to get this money. I'm going to take my What's good, you two? You know who it is. Chris Jones. Representing Pop Chasers, man. It's nighttime, man. About to go up to this grocery store, get me a fruit groceries. Mind you guys, I already told you in the ab video, I'm getting ready to cut down a little bit, man. You know, summertime is approaching. And, uh, you know, springtime is approaching. And quite frankly, man, I want to look good in my shit. I don't want to be wearing no sleeveless hoodie. You know, arms ain't got no definition to them. Abs ain't tight. You know, I still want to look decent. I ain't trying to be super shredded and no shit like that. But I do want to be lean and do want to be whole ready. So, if I go up in Walmart, I actually planned on walking around the store with the camera. But seeing how many cars are here, I might not be able to do that, guys. So, what I want to do is get my groceries. And we're gonna bring them back to the spot. All right, y'all stay tuned. Those post workout carbs, baby. Can't go wrong with pineapples. All right, homies at home, Mets. One thing I love about having your meal plan and things already situated, grocery shopping becomes so much easier. All you gotta do is re up on the food you're already eating. If you got four to five meals a day, like I told you in my meal plan video. Just re up on what you're missing. It keeps grocery shopping simple and you save so much more money, all right? So, hope that tip helps you guys out. Keep your food simple, you'll save a lot of money and a lot of stress. <laughs> all right, home with the home mix. I am back. About to open this shit up and show you what the fuck I got, man. I even got a few things in here for my brother. Got to have a few snacks too, but most of this shit is really for me. All right, so let's go ahead and open this shit up and show you what I got. All right, homies and homies, so check it out. I got things separated a bit. I got processed shit, TV dinners. I got lean proteins. I got carbs, sources, and I got spices, okay? Keep in mind, this is not all I fuck with. It's just all I got today. Things I was, I was running low on, okay? So we're gonna show you what we got. And I'm gonna do a little taste test for you, too. So here we go, the TV dinners right here. This is for my brother, as you know, I have a meal plan I pretty much stick with. I have two meal plans I stick with, and I kind of alternate between the two. My brother likes the shit right here. A little snack on, you know what I'm saying? We still eat, he still eats real food. He got this turkey and potato right here. Uh, Alfredo and shrimp. Lean cuisine and smart wine. Let us right here, roast beef and mashed potatoes. This is pretty good, not a lot of protein. Only 20 grams of protein. If I was fuck with this shit, I'd probably get me two of them, but this is a pretty good shit. I've actually tried this myself. And now let's say, you're, let's say you're on a diet, guys, and you wake up, and you know how you're just craving something good, like some pizza, and you're like, fuck a diet. I don't give a fuck about no damn diet. I don't give a fuck about being whole ready. I want some goddamn pizza, and I won't have it no matter what. Stop. Before you call Pizza Hut or Domino's, whatever the fuck you fuck with, try getting you a lean pocket. Reduce fat, pepperoni pizza. Now I'm not on bullshit you say it tastes like fucking Domino's or some shit, but it's good enough when you're dieting, it will keep you from fucking up, from, from, from throwing it all away, from risking it all. The macros for one of these things is only seven grams of fat. For only seven grams of fat, 42 grams of carb, and 11 grams of protein. So instead of getting a fucking medium pizza to yourself, maybe have one or two of these and and, and, and make it fit your macros and you won't have to fuck up your diet guys, okay? I got some fat free cheese. I already know people overseas don't have this type of stuff. Hey, you should fucking move. Not my fault, man. But we have fat free cheese here. I'm about to make a video for you guys. I'm gonna do a bracket burrito scramble. I got my tortillas right here. High carb, uh, I mean high fiber, low carb tortillas right here. You can get these at Walmart. They're by Extreme Wellness. Damn good macros on this right here. Damn good macros. They're 16 grams of carbs with 11 grams of fiber. That's damn fucking good, okay? So, I'm about to make y'all scramble real soon. It should be up within a week, and I'll be looking out for it, all right? So, cause I like to alternate between, for breakfast, my banana pancakes, and this scramble I'm gonna share with you. So be looking out for it, okay? Bam! Got some lean ground beef, man. 96.4 lean ground beef, man. Got some of this right here. Got some 93.7 lean turkey. Got some whole eggs. I only use the eggs to make my pancakes. You've seen my vlog. 
you should already know how it goes down, okay? So that's the only reason why I got these eggs. I got the eggs to make these banana pancakes. Like I told you guys, you get a meal plan and stick with it. You don't have to go to the grocery store guessing what to buy. You already know what you're gonna be eating for your five meals. Just restock on what you're low on. Now I was low on eggs, I even show you. See, as you see guys, bam. I ain't bullshitting, I was low on eggs, not anymore, okay? I got some chicken breast tenderloins. Believe it or not, so many people do not know how to make their chicken breasts stay juicy. So what I'm gonna do is record a video for you guys showing you how I prepare. This video probably won't be no more than three or four minutes. I know it's a basic video, but believe it or not, so many people do not know basic fucking shit. We even had, like, a lot of people start bodybuilding at 15, 16 years old, never cooked in their life. So, you know, I will be helping somebody with my video. May not be helping you. So keep your hippie comments to yourself. I have to Google how to fucking use this washing machine right here for dishes. Single life, man. It's fucking sucks sometimes, man. I literally have to fucking YouTube watch a video how to use a Whirlpool dishwashing machine. So believe it or not, there are people out there that don't know basic fucking shit. All right? And I would say this for last right here. We got spinach right here. Some good old spinach. You can mix it with your eggs. You can mix it with your scramble. You can just uh, put it on the stove top and make, have it with some chicken. There's so many things you can do with baby spinach. I used to put it on my shakes. I stopped doing that shit, by the way. I like my shakes to taste. I like my shakes to be nice and fruity and delicious, and this shit right here just kills that. So I don't do that no more. All right. We got some brown rice right here. Already made. I just put it in the microwave and heat it up. Got some onions to go with my scramble. Like I told you, scramble video is coming very soon. Now I already know some of you motherfuckers like, hey, you could have saved 50 cents buying your onion and slicing yourself. I'd rather just buy it already sliced. If you want to save 50 cents slicing your own onion, hey man, hey, you do that shit, all right? My, and my piece of bubble gone with that 50 cents. <laughs> a honey bun. Shit, yeah, man, you could, you was throwing money away, man. You could have, you could have sliced it. Oh, you stepped your lazy bastard. Well, you don't know what really saying. You trying to buy a honey bun or something, nigga? <laughs> go, buy, go buy a soda pop. <laughs> <laughs> and check it out. I got some green chili. Oh, my God. This right here goes great with beef or chicken breast. Oh, my goodness. And this right here, I showed y'all this in my last shopping with Chris video. Right, when I told you I was getting this from my Latina woman. My Latina woman might come, I might have me a nice Latina come by and she might want some of this shit, right? Hey man, I was just joking. It was my first time ever trying this shit. I am in love with this shit right here. I'm in love with this. Now, on to the fun part. We got some of these Greek yogurt um, uh, frozen bars. These frozen Greek yogurt bars, cookies and cream flavor. Only two grams of fat, 16 carb, five grams of protein. 100 calories, guys. I never tried this before, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a taste test live. And we got Outshine Simply Yogurt Bars, peach flavor, my favorite. Speaking of peach, <laughs> you can get GAF. <laughs> Protein from My pump teachers, by the way. And thank you for everybody for supporting that. <laughs> I got that. And yeah, I'm gonna try this and hopefully this peach fire pretty good. I doubt it's as good as GAL protein. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're gonna give it a try anyway. But if I ain't say it once, I'll say it to fucking, <laughs> fucking goddamn twice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. We got another Yasso, another honey calorie bar, frozen yogurt bar. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, practically the same macros. Yeah, only thing difference is 2.5 fat, 17 gram of carb, but they're pretty much very identical in macros. Again, never tried this shit. We will try it for you today. I told you in my last video, sometimes you think you want to cheat on your diet, but you really don't. You, you think you might want a chocolate chip from Brahms, or a chocolate shake from In-N-Out Burger, but you can probably get away with just making a nice chocolate smoothie at home. It's still gonna be sweet, it's still gonna be chocolate. So don't be so quick, the point I'm trying to make is, don't be so quick to fuck up your diet. You know you're gonna diet, you got eight weeks to be in the best shape of your life. Don't, those drive-through windows are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Uh, those cheat meals are gonna be there. 
Make every day count. When I go to the gym and I'm dieting, I like to fucking know that my diet's on point, my cardio's on point, and every workout I'm getting closer and closer to the motherfucking whole ready status. And that's how you gotta think. So these tricks right here are gonna help you stay on that grind. Right now, I'm gonna I'm not gonna taste test all of this shit. I'm gonna make the video way too fucking long. I'm just gonna pick the cookies and cream and the chocolate chip cookie though. I'm gonna try these right now. Mm. Oh. Here we go. Look at that. Look at the shape. Give it a full review, man. Here's the shape. All right. Smell it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Can't concentrate, it's got the machine too loud. Shut the fuck up. Look at their ears. I need my ears, man. I can't fucking concentrate. Turn the damn watch machine off. <laughs> Here you go. Type of nigga. I have to turn off the Silence! Car, the car radio to parallel park. <laughs> Alright. It's pretty good. It's not a strong flavor. Like it's not. Like cookies and cream ice cream, it ain't like that. I taste it tastes like yogurt with a little bit of hemp Oreos in them. You know, like 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 a, like, a, like a Greek yogurt with some like Oreos sprinkled in that bitch. Like you know, the, the black part of the Oreo, not the middle. You know, in the black cookie part, that's that what it tastes like. It's not really a strong taste. Like I said, you want something sweet, you want to satisfy your sweet tooth. Uh, I'm not gonna bullshit you. It probably won't satisfy. You probably gonna be like piss the fuck off. <laughs> And you gotta go to fucking Walmart, get you a Ben and Jerry's ice cream, and be a fat fuck for the rest of your life. Don't do this, you can ruin your life, okay? So, final verdict, um, uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm definitely gonna finish these motherfuckers, but will I buy it again? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so we got the cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Let's see what we got here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, it's pretty good. It's better than the cookies and cream. It got more flavor than the cookies and cream. Um, I wish it had a little more cookie dough, but I guess to keep it two grams of fat, to keep it two grams of fat, you can't put cookie dough all, all over the motherfucker. It might go from two grams of fat to maybe eight grams of fat. So I will say I like this. This is definitely good. When I go back to Walmart, I will not be good in the cookies and cream. But I will be buying more of this. Is it GAF? No. Nope. I can't give it GAF. GAF, when I yeah. say GAF, it got to be cheap meal good. We can't just throw around that word loosely. GAF has to mean something, guys. I will say this is good. But is it GAF? I can't give it GAF. It got to be cheap meal good. Okay? Right away. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like my shit. Comment, subscribe. About 30 of them bitches, hop back at your boy. Get 30 of them bitches minimum. <laughs>